Doug, obviously a lot of work to be done here. Right behind me is a car wash, and you can see several of the wash bays just completely destroyed. Part of the roof here falling onto a utility pole. This whole area does not have power, and we're told that more than 40 Encore crews will be working through the night. Severe thunderstorm warning affected area ahead. A violent tornado seen crossing Highway 114, causing significant damage just down the street from Susan Oaken's house. It just was like a sheet of white outside, you know, the rain, and then. Um, then it just got really loud. Thankfully, her home was spared, but the neighborhood lost electricity. The storm carrying over to an area near West Northwest Highway and North Dove Road. It was like a lot of businesses, which I don't think they'll be open for months and months now. But we were lucky to miss it just by like 50 feet or something. And we are like few broken windows. That's about it. The owner of this vape shop boarding them up and purchasing this generator to make sure his employees don't miss out on any work. Because it's holiday time coming up, a lot of our employees, I don't want them to go without paycheck. The Grapevine Mills Mall, Walmart, and Sam's Club nearby also battered. The wreck of Grapevine serving as a temporary shelter for anyone in need. Time out of the dark or, or uh, heat or, or cooling, uh, we're offering those services here. We also have uh, we have snacks and drinks and things like that. Grapevine Mayor William Tate sharing some good news. The five people who were treated for non-life-threatening injuries today have been released from the hospital. It's been... Uh encouraging. It's been, uh, we feel very fortunate. We're a city of volunteers and we're all pulled together and uh, looking forward to cleaning up and going on celebrating Christmas. And the mayor tells us that the damaged businesses are being offered security. We've already seen police out here tonight providing some of that. Reporting live in Grapevine, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. Boy,